Hi, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Today we're going to do a little short cooking video. Going to be doing some cooking with our CBD oil that you've already seen us make in a previous video. <laughs> it's really easy. There's really nothing to this at all. It's just like cooking anything else. What we're basically going to do is we're going to substitute this CBD oil that we made for the oil that's in the recipe. Now you can do that with just about anything, no matter what you're cooking. So you could put this in, you know, cookies or Shelly puts it in gummy bears. So she likes to, to eat those instead of eating the brownies. Uh, but, you know, basically what we're doing here is we're going to, we're going to use this cheap box of Betty Crocker brownie mix. It doesn't have to be anything special. What I look for is I look for this right here. It's a very simple recipe. All it takes is a quarter of a cup of water, a third of a cup of oil, and one egg plus the mix. Now, this oil, all we're going to do is we're going to substitute our CBD oil for their regular vegetable oil. Pretty much end the video right there if you want to, because <laughs> that's all I'm going to do. But I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. So I guess without further ado... We've got our oven already preheated to 350 degrees. So, Shelly probably should be doing this. She's the cook in the family, but to be honest with you, we wanted to show you how easy it was. So, I'm going to do it. Get my handy dandy little Leatherman out here. So, just take the brownie mix, dump it into the mixing bowl. Oh, this one's got chunks in it, so that'll be good. Okay, so we've got all that. And the recipe calls for a quarter of a cup of water. Is there a quarter of a cup of water? You can take my word on that if you want. All right, and this is a third cup. And we're just going to take this oil. Now, this stuff will firm up like regular coconut oil unless it's warm out. So what I've done is I've heated it on the stove in a pot of warm water so it liquefied, so it's easier to work with. So I'm gonna take that oil and I'm gonna fill this up. So we wanna go over this in case I spill any. You want to really try to get the whole third of a cup in there because it, it is it is the active ingredient. And that goes right in. We'll set this over here. And believe it or not, thanks to our wonderful chickens, I'm going to pick a nice big egg. That's a good sized one there. And there you have your ingredients. I'm gonna stir it up. Those boxes of brownie mix can be had really cheap. They're not expensive at all. Or you can make your own. Yeah, you could you could do this to a scratch recipe too with no, you know, with no problems. Like like I said before, all you're really doing is just substituting the uh, CBD oil for uh, the oil or the butter that's in whatever recipe you have. Incidentally, if you were cooking with regular can of oil, if you were using can of oil because you needed the effects of cannabis instead of CBD. Um, our CBD comes from plants that are grown. They're not, uh, they're CBD plants. They're, they're hemp. They're not classified as a marijuana because there's, there's no THC in them at all. A lot of your big companies, they will take the THC out of the marijuana and use the, use the CBD that's left over to make oils or whatever and then they'll use the THC which a lot more people want for, for those products. We don't really have the need for that so the seeds are usually available from anybody that 
sell seeds, the seed banks. All right, I'm going to call that mixed. So the recipe that we're going to follow, which was on the box, gives you a, options for different pans, and it will tell you, you know, basically what you want to use for a uh, heat in your oven, which in our case, being a nine by nine, nine pan, it was 350. So I'm gonna make two batches of these and I don't wanna bother to wash the pan in between. And I found this trick works really easy. I'm gonna take this pan, flip it upside down. I'm gonna fold it over the outside of the pan. I know you're thinking, Scott, what are you doing? Why would you put it over the outside of the pan? Well, reason being, you don't tear the corners when you do that. And that works slick. I thought that was about the coolest thing ever when I saw that the first time. So why wouldn't you think of that? And then I'm going to take some cooking spray. And I'm going to give it a good spray. I don't think it really needs it. I think I've done it without it before. It hasn't really mattered much. They don't seem to stick. So at this point, we're going to get real scientific. And we're just going to dump this stuff in there. I used to worry about getting it all spread evenly all over the pan, and then I kind of realized that you don't have to do that. It's a waste of time. It will flow out into the corners. and So at this stage, this uh, blob right here, believe it or not, is what I put in the oven, which I'm going to do right now, which has already told me it is preheated. Set it in there like that to the 35 minutes that was on the box. And with that, we're gonna have to fast forward 35 minutes for the next part of this video. Okay, so obviously I've got these out of the pan now and they're cooled off. So they look just like any other brownies. Now, I'm gonna warn you, uh, this CBD uh, strain of hemp, it does still smell like marijuana. Uh, and when you cook the brownies, it, it smells mostly like brownies, but you do get an occasional whiff of the marijuana smell. So that's something you have to deal with. I, I really can't taste it. I, I don't know. I mean, some people say they can. I, don't, I, I really I don't know. I, I can't tell. Somebody could feed me one. I wouldn't know. So what I basically do is I try to cut these as equal as I can. So I'm gonna try, split it in half, go in both directions. This would be really important if you were cooking with actual cannabis oil instead of CBD oil, because that would be your dosage. Um, if you eat all this, you're gonna get way more CBD oil than if you just ate one brownie, of course, but Make no mistake about it, this stuff will not make you high. It is not psychoactive at all. So there's no danger in eating these and having any problems driving, uh, them making you sleepy. The only, I mean, they might, they might relax you if you're already tired, let you fall asleep, but they're not gonna cause you any ill effects. Trying to take extra careful, make sure that, try to get it right. Everything equal, just like that. Now you let those cool a little bit before you cut them, right? Yeah, I let them cool so you could, you know, lay your hand on them. They're not, they're not hot or anything. They're still, they're still pretty soft. They come soft enough so they come apart easy, if you know what I mean. Um, you just take them. I stick them in a, a regular freezer bag. And I put them right in the refrigerator to store them there, and that keeps them nice and fresh. Now, you could make a bunch of them ahead of time and freeze them, you know, whatever you choose to do. But this is this is pretty much how I've, how I've been doing it for a while now. Okay, so like I said, we're in the, we're in the freezer bag, you know, and uh, this is my choice for what I eat, how I take this. I take it every day like a vitamin. It really helps me. I find it helps with my back. It also, uh, it helps me sleep at night too. Uh, what I typically will do is I'll take one of these brownies 
and I'll cut it in half. I made half of it when I get up in the morning and I made half before I go to bed at night. Uh, it, it seems to work really good. I have very little problems with it, you know. Yes, they're brownies, they taste good, they're fattening, you know, and all that, but this is just, for me, it was the easiest way, other than eating the oil right out of the jar, um, to get it into my system, and it, it's easy to regulate because the pieces are all about the same size. As far as coconut oil, you know, you, you should cook with coconut oil as often as you can anyway. If you read the benefits for that, you'll find out that it's uh, antioxidant, it's good for almost everything. So a lot of people use butter, I have found that oil is way better than actual coconut oil. Stores for a long time. You know, please refer to our, uh, our other video about making CBD oil. Check that out. Thanks for watching.